Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinyl TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. We got this gear. This is HP Laser Jet Pro 3002 DWE. This printer, you can only print from this gear, but with your mobile device, you can take a picture, send it to this printer and print it out. I'm going to give you an overview of this printer, then show you how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network. This printer is using Ink Toner 139. Before we do everything, let's start from the back. This printer right now is connected to the power cable, okay? two power cables included in the packaging the right the one right here is three pin power cable okay it's plugged into the socket this is the second one this is a two pin power cable okay now i want to mention this is the usb cable this printer is dual band you can connect it via wi-fi network and usb cable connection unfortunately USB cable is not included in the packaging. We have this at Vinetex store free delivery here in UK. If you connect this printer to a Wi-Fi network, then you don't need a USB cable. Okay, it's very handy in case if you don't, if you if your Wi-Fi is playing up, then you use USB cable to connect to Wi-Fi the printer. Okay, so I'm going to put this away. This is just a by the way. If you have any paper jam, open up this section. Check for any paper jam and debris right here. Okay, I'm just gonna close it. Once you print your document out, it will come right here and rest on top here. Okay, now I'm going to open up this printer. Ink toner is using 139, it's right here. Check my video how we load install the toner. So it goes in here. goes in just push it down okay and gently close it okay it's closed right now now if you want to leave this printer up put your hand just by the side right here and the other one on the other side and lift this printer is not heavy it's economical and very compact okay now this printer open it up this is the paper tray, so you can load various sizes of paper right here. A4 paper, B5, 8 points, A5, B5, A4, size 11, various size. You just need to adjust it to the particular size of the paper you are using, okay? So this is A5. So if you go down a little bit, this is B5, okay? And move it a little bit to the side. It's B5. If you move it to the sides here and this way is A A5. Okay, it's A5. Then to, to the end and also to the bottom is A4 paper. Okay. If you want to adjust, extend the length of this, just need to press press this lever here and extend it. Okay. So you go back out. Okay, go back in. Okay. So right now, just gonna put this back in. So this is the overview of this printer. Like I said, it's using Ink Toner 139, okay? And this printer is dual band, can connect it via Wi-Fi, direct or Wi-Fi network or USB cable. What you want to do right now is set this printer up, connect it via Wi-Fi network. To do that, I need you to get bring your mobile device, okay? With your mobile device, I need, we need to go to Play Store, okay? So go to Play Store, I'm going to bring the camera closer so that I can see what we need to do. So go to Play Store, right? Once you bring your mobile device, go to Play Store and download HP Smart App. Okay. So from the app, type HP Smart App, HP Smart App. Okay, here it is. Download it on your mobile device. It's already downloaded on my phone, so I need to click it open. Okay. So the app is opening up. Now what we need to do is 
you also need to make sure you have your account okay now you also need to make sure you have your account in okay you need to sign in to your account okay so right now it's connecting so signing into the HP, my HP account okay is what we're doing right now okay now the other thing is you need to do you can see bell and a plus sign so we need to we need to look for this printer click plus sign to look for the printer and once you click a plus sign it will ask you choose a type of printer to add to HP smart app if it's a printer that you already added before then you click add a new print add a printer that's already set up but in this case we are setting up a new printer so click choose set up a new printer and get started now once you check, set up get new printer it will ask you how do you want to connect this printer select wi-fi or ethan cable ethan cable is usb cable so wi-fi network is what we are selecting okay you can see select wi-fi click continue now it will ask you get the printer ready make sure the printer is switched on so this printer is on right now okay and also i want to show you the light that is flashing here the light flashing here the first one is on button the second light here is wi-fi you can see it's flashing intermittent blue light this the second button is in information button and the third is resume and this light is also showing a uh, amber light warning light because the wi-fi and the paper is not yet loaded okay so what we want to do right now is so make sure the printer is on in this case this printer is on click continue okay it's telling us place the printer on the flash surface connect the mobile device to wi-fi network okay and also turn off turn on your location permission bluetooth and everything allow hp okay give the hp permission to do this okay and click continue turn on bluetooth yes bluetooth is required to set up okay click continue hp is asking to turn bluetooth on click allow okay so right now bluetooth is turned on okay so once the bluetooth is on on what is doing right now is searching for available printer Okay, so it's searching for available printer is what it's doing. Now it's saying my printer is not listed. Okay, so can do go back again. Okay, click continue and search for this again. Sometimes a lot of people struggle to get this. So what we're doing right now, we're searching for. Okay, if the printer is not found, click my printer is not listed. Click continue okay so right now it start to search for printer printer not listed to fa tap find the printer to use alternative method to connect to your printer okay so click find a printer connect to device see hp smarter we use temporary wi-fi network to connect to connect to device okay so right now it's checking Now I stay no device, no device fan. Make sure the device is you want to connect is turned on, uh, ready to connect. Okay. What we're going to do right now is also make sure the printer is on. Okay. So switch this printer off and switch it back on. So what we're doing, just wait for the printer to be ready.
okay and right now the wi-fi is flashing okay you can see the wi-fi is flashing here okay now what we need to do is we need to look for this printer okay so make sure the wi-fi is on search for available printer click continue click continue Now printer is not listed. Pull down to update available printer. Find the printer. So right now it's, it's looking for this device. Now no device is found. Now what we need to do is we need to use a mobile use a PC. Now we need to driver and software for this printer printer HP lesser jet pro there is zero zero two dw okay okay all driver setup software hp smart print setup software click download Okay, click open. Okay, click yes. So this is HP Easy Start. Okay, click accept all option okay right now we need to now what we need to do is now what we need to do is check this item before start setup okay make sure the printer is plugged in and the power is on it can take a few minutes for the printer to for the printer to fully powered on okay connect the printer to the same network as this device if setting up wi-fi connection okay and select continue you can see hp printer found okay click continue so right now please wait you can see connecting to wi-fi network you can see so right now this printer printer is found what is doing right now is configuring the network okay so this is how to set this up okay now it's telling us press the flashing information button on your printer okay and you can see right now we confirm for security we confirm your proximity for the printer and this is the flashing information button so press on it once okay once you press on it now 
what he's doing right now is joining the network so he's joining the network is the next and also you can see configuration the configuring the printer is configured so the next is doing right now is joining the network I know it's a long process but this is how to connect this if you can't find the printer on your on your mobile device okay so right now what is doing right now is joining the network you must stay on the screen while each step complete this might take a few minutes so what we're doing right now and also if you look over here the wi-fi the printer wi-fi is steady on it's no longer flashing it that means the printer is fine and net printer configured so what is doing right now is just we are waiting for this to join the network so if you can't find the printer on your mobile device there is other way you can do this just need to download this driver and the software then from there once you connect this printer right now using the pc we can go back to the mobile device and find this printer okay so right now what is doing right now is joining the printer network network joined okay connection finish you can see network is joined connection finish so right now this printer is connected you can see okay so this printer right now is connected to network. You can see it here. And Lesser Jet Pro 3001 slash 3008. Okay. So like right now, click continue. So it's checking the fireware update. The printer is checking. Okay. Printer fireware is updated. Right now, print your pay code. Se select printing select print pairing code to generate your unique printer pair code you must print and use this code complete setup make sure the printer has paper loaded and ready to print okay right now we need to load the, the paper yeah so load the paper as instructed what you have here is a4 paper So load a4 paper okay and now go inside okay now we need to print okay print pairing code okay quick wi-fi setup so right now we need to print print pairing code Okay, it's printing pericode. Okay, so here we go. Sign in and create new HP account. When prompted, enter printing pairing code. This code will be valid for two hours. Okay, we use pairing code to add this printer to HP account. If you need help pairing your printer, go to HP support. Okay, so this is how to set this up right now. So if you want to open up HP start admin. Okay, so you just need to sign in to your HP account or okay. Okay, so right now the other thing you can do is just put your email address okay so type email so once you log into your hp account okay you need to first of all how do you want to set up this printer okay managed by my company or registration so you need to first of all select personal printer okay so if it's a company then you select company okay click continue 
okay now get the most out of your printer click on click continue okay accept all now enter pairing code so what we need to do right now we have the pairing code here okay so the pairing code is what i'm putting okay so the pairing code is what i'm putting right now So you go back in, okay, start from the first, okay, followed by the second, okay, so what I'm doing right now is the pairing code is what I'm putting, once you put the pairing code, click continue, so right now printer code accepted, okay, you can see, now, give your printer name and location okay but this is optional so you can skip giving your printer name okay skip it hp smart printer requirements click confirm by confirming you agree to hp agree for the following requirement connect the printer to the internet use only original hp ink or toner you can buy hp cartridges or enroll instant ink and organization and organizations like company and all all printers managed by the organization must be in the same HP. Okay, click confirm. Okay, so right now HP activation in progress. In progress. Okay, so HP activation in progress. You have enjoyed this HP smart printer benefit smart dashboard print smart security sustainable printing with hp forest first print anywhere private with private backup one year extended warranty hp advanced and three months trial so this is what is doing right now activating phase five of five Because this is office printer, so you requ require you to have activation code. Okay, so it's activating. Finish finishing off is what it, here we go. You can see. So it, it will assign ownership and also how give you a pairing code. Okay, so what is doing around configure and share is the next step is doing. Now I click continue. Okay, in terms of uh, Let's manage your toner. You can skip the offer. I don't need the offer right now. Are you sure you want to skip the offer? Yes, skip the offer. Okay. Okay. Set up print and set up print and send the test message. Instant print software enable. Instant printer software enable remote printing and mobile printing. Okay set up click done okay click go to hp smart app okay sign in so right now what you need to do is you download hp smart app okay and Add a printer. Here we go. You can see. So right now we're adding this printer to the HP Smart App. Here we go. You can see the printer is ready right now. HP Laserjet Pro 3002. 
it's ready printer ready to print and also showing us the ink okay so it's a long process but this is how to connect this printer once you connect everything to your mobile connect it to the laptop then you add it on your mobile device okay so this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you